Good morning. I'm going to wait for just a second and let everybody get on and get approved. I don't know if it's doing yet or not, so I'm going to wait for just a second. Thank you, baby. Being brought coffee from the best daughter in the world in my crown mug so that I can be a little bit more awake for y'all. Um, no, I don't think it'll matter. Thank you, sweetheart. All right, I don't, I can't really tell if it's on or not, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, um, for those of y'all who don't, do not know me, my name is Amanda Ginger, and I live in Arkansas, and I honestly cannot believe that I'm starting this video with no makeup on. Um, I have what's called a port wine stain, and as you can tell, it is on the right side of my face. I was born with it, and um, it's it's difficult to have anybody see me without makeup, but I also know that there are so many people out there that need the information, that need the help, that need anything that I can give them that I just have to put my personal feelings to the side and just jump on and do it. I am so far out of my comfort zone with, <laughs> with no makeup on. It is amazing. Okay. I am much more comfortable with my foundation on, showing you how to do eyeshadows, showing you how to do lips, showing you how to do blush, showing you how anything else. But this is... Wow. Okay. We're going to do it. All right. For those who do not know what a port wine stain is, all it is is more blood vessels on the right side of my face than on my left. Um, therefore, my right eyelid is actually bigger. My, the, my right nostril is actually bigger and the right side of my lip is actually bigger. That goes into play a little bit later whenever I'm going to talk some about contouring, um, talk some about um, eyeliner, that kind of thing. If you ever have a client that has a port wine stain, number one, nobody's face is symmetrical. Everybody has a larger eye, a higher ear, that kind of stuff, but with my situation, it makes it even worse. Um, it... I don't know, it just does weird stuff because that side of my face grows or grew more while I was um, going through puberty than the left side simply because it just had more blood flow. So, um, the main thing, or the first thing I guess that I'm going to talk about are some of the things that I use. Um, I've already done all my skincare, I've washed my face this morning and I have, I've done all of that, but whenever you're talking about concealing the first thing there's actually a lot of there's a lot more to it than just throwing color on your face um you have to think about the color wheel i was not an art major in high school i was not an art major in college i at first i did it by trial and error um but really the color wheel is key Green, you have to think of opposite sides. I've got my I've got my iPad here that's helping me with some things that I didn't want to forget. Um, green neutralizes red, so I always start with, well, color corrected tint and moisturizer helps to even me out first, but I always use my green. Now, if you have um, dark circles, 
I don't I don't have dark circles um, but if you have light to fair skin tones you need a peach or a pink to kind of counter act that um, dark purple and black our candlelight is phenomenal for that because it is a pink undertoned eyeshadow now if you are a medium to a darker skin toned person you need orange um, I don't use it that often on people because it's hard to cover with it I, I tend to use just the pink and the things even for my medium skin toned clients yellow is an all-over neutralization um, hang on let me read I use green for my rosacea uh, yes rosacea we're gonna talk about that in just a second rosacea it well I can talk about it now uh, rosacea is different than me um, rosacea has flare-ups I am continual um, well I say that I don't know in y'all's households how it was um, but education was important um, unless you were bleeding out or you had fever you went to school and I could never fake sick because if I'm cold like it's actually cold outside my birthmark gets darker it becomes instead of the reddish pink it becomes more of a bluish purplish color and also whenever I have fever so I could never if even if I told my mother that I didn't feel well she would take one look at my face and say ah oh, you're not dark you don't have fever go to school well um, it was true um, also I have found <laughs> my daughter can tell you <laughs> that if I get upset I mean like really 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 mad my birthmark gets darker whenever she's in trouble she wants me not to have makeup on so that she can see if it's bad bad or just and eh, just kind of in trouble anything flares I hate to say flares it up but it because it's not like rosacea but it makes it darker so I have to prepare for any of that stuff in the morning um, climate control and silk are two wonderful things that help with my coloring it actually there are ingredients in these two products even though I know I'm talking about concealing if you have clients with rosacea or a port wine stain even though I'm having laser treatments done and you can see some of the white spots coming through that is where my laser treatments are working it's still real dark here and still real dark here it's really lightening up here and here um, these two products have ingredients in them that actually help with irritation to the skin it helps with inflammation of the skin and it helps with coloring so even if your clients are wanting concealing put this on them have them use this it will help before it actually before you actually get to the concealing part it will actually help to um, not make it quite as red quite as often especially with rosacea but even with my port wine stain I have seen noticeable differences excuse me <coughs> okay um, going back I wanted to say hello to Nicole I haven't talked to you in a while great to see you from Australia um, this like I said I've already put my skincare on so I'm not gonna do that um, <clears throat> one other thing that I wanted to talk about anybody that has dark reddish pink like me or the extreme rosacea if you can get your hey Michelle if you can get your hands on some mystic moss shadow scents it would be phenomenal I know it's gone out of stock and I know that it's really not even come back into our lineup but if you can get your hands on it it would be great on days that I'm super super dark 
I used some Mystic Moss Conce or Mystic Moss Shadow Sense mixed with some white concealer and I actually utilized that for my green because it's thicker and it has um, a thicker consistency so that it, you know, our shadow sense doesn't move and budge all day either. But some days I just need something a little bit thicker than just our green. But um, also, um, women of color, my darker uh, skin clients, Mocha Java is a phenomenal concealer. Just like our candlelight, I don't use candlelight anymore. I did it first, and then I realized I was actually not helping myself at all because candlelight. It oh, the dog is up here with me. Sorry, um, lost track. Lola, get down. Um, candlelight has a pink undertone. I was actually being counterintuitive by adding pink to pink. So what I do now is I use Sandstone Pearl. Sandstone Pearl is a more creamy base, more of a beige base, and it actually helps me more with covering mine. Um, I use Mocha Java in my brows too. It is a phenomenal brow thing. But in our area, we have a lot of women of color, and now that we've gotten the um, Extra Make Sense Foundation shades, that I can do more of those clients, I have found that Mocha Java is extremely important in my tool belt because it is a perfect concealer for them. It's just like our candlelight and sandstone pearl. Um, another thing about silk, I didn't get to watch the videos yesterday. I, we had state track tournament in the rain and 46 degrees wind chill, so it was a very miserable day, but we got through it. Um, silk, I learned from Renee Stewart a couple of years ago, a lot of people don't use silk correctly. Silk, well, I'm actually going to put it on because I haven't done that yet. You just use the tiniest little bit, not even a half a pump. I focus more here along my cheek and my nose I put a few dots and you go in a downward motion only you do very minimal touching of it and then leave it alone the more you move it the more it's not going to work like it's supposed to a lot of people put it on going this way and as Renee explained it as you're putting it on in a downward motion you're putting it into your pores and into your fine lines and wrinkles. But as you go back up, you're taking it out. So, I don't know if y'all are budget conscious like I am. I'm, I'm not a penny pincher, but I'm not going to just throw it away. This is worth more than its weight in gold if you use it correctly. If you keep moving it up and down, you're not actually getting the full benefit of silk. And those who have used silk know it is phenomenal. But imagine how much better it would be if it was actually using it correctly. This is like primer for a painter's canvas. This can actually help your foundation stay longer, stay better, all of that good stuff. Okay, so now I've done my silk. You actually let it dry a little bit more yes ma'am Trish I am going to put every bit of my makeup on well not every bit I'm gonna stop whenever I get uh, my foundation done um, silk the skin seals on your hair and face go downward if you go up your rough skin up and you get a texture that go down with it absolutely um, Sarah, thank you for that. That is exactly correct. It, a lot of times it's how you get started. It's almost like building a house. If you don't have a good foundation for a house, it's not going to last as long. So the more that you can do beforehand, before you actually put your products on, the better off you're going to be. Okay. Um, also, once it comes back into stock, if you will get... A tester that is a shade lighter than your foundation and a tester that is a shade darker than your foundation you will have much more versatility with your foundation 
our testers are actually and another Renee Stewart tip. Um, our testers are actually a thicker, a slightly thicker consistency than our make our original testers and our original Make Sense foundation. I use y'all. I am so fair; it is ridiculously stupid. I have to use our ivory, and I have to mix our white concealer or our white um, yeah concealer with it because. Ivory is too dark for me. I know that's awful, but um, with having laser surgery done, I cannot get out in the sun at all. So I have no color. When I started this journey three years ago, I wore tan, and a month later, I was wearing Cafe Olay, and I started in April. So I used to be a lot darker. Well, now I'm on the other end of the spectrum. And you figure out what works best for that. So now that my silk is actually dry, the very first thing that I do is I get my stipple brush. Okay, this is something else that's different than everybody else. Since I need the extreme coverage, I cannot get just any stipple brush. The one that comes from our company does not work on me as well. The one that most stipple brushes that you can get at Ulta does not work. I need something, as you can see, it's finely, densely packed because I have to have more coverage. All right, the first thing I use, if y'all can see that, I can't even, the lights, y'all, if y'all saw this setup I have going here, y'all would laugh. I use the light tinted moisturizer first. I simply put it on the back of my hand. I take my stipple brush. Okay, here's another found another tip from um, Renee. Don't pounce in the middle. Start in the corner or on the edge and pounce going around in more of a circular motion. And then I just start putting my light tinted moisturizer on. And a lot of people say, why do you put the silk on first? They say put the moisturizer on. I've already used my daytime moisturizer. This light tinted moisturizer is doing nothing but giving me more coverage. It's starting the process of building up my coverage. But y'all, what is so amazing about our products is even though y'all are going to see me put multiple layers on, it's not thick. It's not cakey looking. It doesn't look like I could take my nails and drag through all of my product. Even though I'm putting it on, and see y'all, I still have half of it. Well, y'all can't see very well. Oh, I, these lights. That helps. See, I still almost have almost half of my stuff left. It doesn't take that much, but it gives me what I need. Another thing, if you are covering anything, how do I explain it? All right, I'm covering half of my face. I have to put the exact same amount of product on the other side of my face so it looks balanced and it looks more symmetrical. If I have, okay, I have this big old pimple right there and one right there. Even though I'm putting more product here, I've got to cover my entire forehead so that it looks more covered. It looks better. It's not obvious that this side of my face has more product, that these two spots have more product. Um, thank you, Kara. You're going to make me cry. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Okay. Um, where did I get my brush? I actually got it at Ulta, but it's like Japanese something else. It's not like the Ulta brand. It And you're right. It does kind of look like a, like a paint like a paintbrush. I am going to be painting my face. As my daddy called it whenever I was a kid, my war paint. Well, we're putting more paint on this morning. All right. Um, the next thing I do is I put my green on. Now, here's the key. With concealers like this, thank you, Jennifer. 
Um, I don't think, I'm also a professor at the college here in town. I don't think some of my students would agree with you. Whenever they don't do their homework right, you know, they, uh, they tell me I didn't explain it well. So, all right, now once I have this going, all I have used the light tinted moisturizer for is strictly just getting an even skin tone going. All right, now, green concealer. And I'm almost out of mine. Y'all don't understand. I can't be without this. When I order, I order. When it's in stock, every order I place, I have like three on there. All right, again, these silly lights. Okay, that's about how much I use. Now, I simply dot. I do not stipple this on because my fingertips work better. If I'm working on a client, I use this brush right here. It is a foundation brush. And, um, hey, Sandra. Thank you for joining me from Australia. What time is it there? Okay. I simply dab. If you rub this in, you do not get the coverage that you want nor that you need. And my birthmark goes up into here so I kind of have to I just kind of move it around and that's strictly all I do again I'm not I'm gonna move this one down so you can see a little bit better is that a little bit better can you see a little bit more I'm not covered by any means but it's getting there it's helping I think those are actually too much. We were trying to figure out how to do this last night with the lighting so that y'all could see, but I think that might be too much. I'll go with that. Does that help y'all? Can y'all see a little bit better? Can you see it more of a natural color? I can't tell on my end. Okay, well there's my green. Now, what I do, does it help, Terrell, does it help? Okay, good. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Because the other, I felt like it it washed it out. Better? Okay, good. Okay. Now, depending on the day. Well, is that even better? Or is that better? I want y'all to be able to see. I think that one's better. Great. Okay. All right. 11.25 p.m. Y'all did finish seminar. We finished our seminar a couple of weeks ago, and I was able to go and had the time of my life. I hope y'all had half as much fun as we had, because if you had half as much fun, you had a blast. Okay. Now, here's what I was talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Mary Beth just walked out of her bathroom, and she's got to go to her bedroom, and all she has is a towel on. I don't think we can see you, baby. I cannot see the doorway. Okay. And is it going to jack you all the way up if I dry my hair? You can dry your hair in my bathroom, and it won't jack me up, as you say. <laughs> Good morning, sweet baby. Good morning. Can you say good morning to Facebook land? Good morning, Facebook land. <laughs> okay. Um, this is what I was talking about. This is a tester of my ivory foundation. It is a little bit thicker consistency, so I put a little bit here to start. And, of course, if you do one side, you have got to do the other. Please don't forget that. I know it's easy just to do one side and think you're done because that's what you're worried about covering. Don't do it. You have got to do both sides. Otherwise, you're going to look like a goofball, and you don't want to do that. We want to be pretty. 
we want to be put together. Um, which is better, AAA or original? Okay, I'm old school. I started three years ago. I don't like the advanced anti-aging formula at all. Um, I found for me, it does not offer as much coverage. I use the original Make Sense Foundation. Um, Mary Beth said, because it just makes sense. Absolutely, it just makes sense. Um, the original is the only one that we can say is waterproof. The advanced anti-aging is not waterproof, and I don't find the coverage. I just don't. It's um, it's a thinner consistency. And Miss Jada says, hello, Mary Beth. She yelled, hi, Miss Jada, from her room. Um, it's just... It, it doesn't do what I need for it to do. But some people love it. I have more clients that like the original better than the, um, the other. Okay, now, here's where it gets a little sticky. Our, after my green and after I put a little bit of our ivory under my eyes, I use the, can you see that? The Natural Concealer. But as you can see, it has a pink undertone. This is where I kind of, I move back and forth. I have to use another concealer because I have to get rid of some of the green to build up my foundation. So, um, what I do is I take my natural concealer with the little bit of tinted moisturizer I still have on my hand. I add a little bit to it, but as you can see, it's kind of a pinkish. I don't need that. What I need is more of a natural color. So what I do is I add a little bit of my Ivory Make Sense Foundation Tester to it. Which is right there. And I mix that together. Again, my fingers are my best tools if I'm not working on a client and I'm just working on myself. I mix it together and I put it on and I stipple it in again I don't move it with my fingers I need the coverage if you need coverage use your brushes if you don't move it with your fingers it does not it gives a much sheerer look all right And again, I'm going all over because I have freckles that pop out periodically, which is one of the ways we knew that my laser treatments were working because you could actually start seeing freckles on my port wine stain side. Um, okay, Michelle. Hang on, let me go back. Do we have colors in both, found in both formulations of the foundation? No. There are more colors in the original, but I don't know how many are going to come back with the, if, if we're going to do that. Uh, do you use white concealer? I do with my ivory foundation because it's too dark. I'm too pale. Um, I've been using a sponge. I feel like the coverage isn't great. It's not, Michelle. Um, and I actually forgot to tell y'all, I dampened my stipple brush a little bit so that product doesn't get in the fibers it actually goes to my face if i'm having to use a sponge because i'm using um, products on a client i dampen the sponge a little bit because um, if you dampen your sponge less product will actually get onto your sponge and more product will get onto your client um, it helps with uh, budgeting issues obviously penny pinching but it also helps show the client that you know these and I say client I cannot stand the word customer because our clients are spending a lot of money on products that I look at them like a law a lawyer has a client a doctor has a patient or a client you're more than a customer to me I think of a customer almost like the Walmart mentality this isn't 495 lip gloss 
you're spending big, big money getting wonderful product and getting science behind product. This is, you're, you're worthy of the word client. Um, clients, if you call them a client to their face, Y'all, it works. They feel more empowered. They feel like you appreciate them. You feel like, or they feel like you understand. They're spending their hard-earned money on our stuff. I live in an area in Arkansas that people either have a lot of money or they have no money. I am teaching people who are first-generation college students their families making fun of them for trying to do better that's the mentality of a lot of the people in my area so to tell call them a customer that's a slap in their face they're a client I had one student save up money for almost six months to be able to buy a lip color and a gloss because she said yours looks immaculate all day long and I I want what you have and she has now signed up because she wants a better life for herself and her family. So that's kind of, I know I got completely off track, but if y'all will call them clients, you will find people spend more money with you because they know you respect and appreciate them. Okay, back to this stuff. Sorry, that train just derailed. Okay, um, I'm now ready for my foundation. Hey, girls from Arkansas. Y'all are from here, too? Yay! There, when I started, y'all, there were like four of us. There wasn't that many. So, absolutely. Okay, uh, Crystal, you say, sorry, I'm new. What's wrong, sweetie? What did I miss? Woo pig suey. <laughs> well, I went to Arkansas State, so. Sorry. Go Red Wolves. Um... But it was Indians when I was there. Again, I'm old school, big time. Okay. That's a good idea about the white concealer. You're about to see it, um, Emily. It's about to happen. I haven't tried the silicone sponge, Kendra. I don't know. I ordered it, but I chickened out. I know that's awful. Sarah, um, I just got my nails done yesterday. It's called Pink Bikini. It is the closest thing to a bikini that I will put on my body. Hello, Oregon. Hello, Texas. Good morning, girls. Okay, now, ivory foundation. Again, my, my palette right here is my arm, my hand. I use one full pump and then a little bit more because, again, y'all, I've got to have the coverage. I've got to do a couple of different things. Florida. Katie, you make me jealous. Uh, what brushes do I use? Okay, Rebecca, uh, this is a Japanese from Ulta, and <laughs> I've got the bikini comment. Well, it's the truth. Trust me, y'all would pay me to put y'all would pay me to put clothes back on. Um, and then this foundation brush that I usually use with my clients for that. Um, Maine, New York, Illinois, California. Good grief, girls. Good morning. Um, it's a deluxe foundation brush from Crown Brush Company. It is phenomenal. Y'all, brushes are expensive, but they are absolutely very important. Maryland, Charleston, South Carolina, Nebraska, Iowa. Good morning. Um, as you can see, now that I put foundation on, you can see that my lip is bigger. Okay. Now... Here's the, the one shot, or the pump and a half of ivory. A little pump of pearlizer. All right, and girls, here it is. Y'all were looking at me funny. I wasn't kidding. And a big old dollop of white. Y'all see that? That is my concoction. Like a witch's brew. I take the back of my stipple brush, I mix it all up, and once I mix it up, all that that white concealer has done is making, 
Hey, Justine, you have rosacea. Good girl. What exactly does pearlizer do? Um, we say it gives you the J-Lo glow without looking like a disco ball. What it does, um, it gives you a little bit of a dewy glow. And it just kind of brightens your skin up. A lot of people use it afterwards as a highlighter, which I'll talk about highlighting and contouring in just a second. But all I've done is I've mixed it up. And I take what I have left on my stipple brush and, and I kind of put it here to get started. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it around. Just like normal, I have another mirror set up next to me because using the phone is just difficult. I guess I'm not good enough at this to, to be able to do that yet. Okay, again, take it go in circular motions okay I there is another trick to putting on foundation that has a little bit more coverage you can actually take and that's what I want to do here in just a second you can take and mix powder our translucent natural powder in the foundation and it makes it a thicker consistency which gives you better coverage. Okay, I have now, oh, and y'all, I know our foundation goes up or down four shades. Mine really doesn't because I have so much packed on, even though it doesn't look cakey. I have so much on that one side. I have to get foundation that's exactly right. But even though it does, y'all please, I know I'm not doing the foundation video, but please go down on your neck. Don't have a floating face in the mask. Don't have a baseline. Okay, now that is me with one layer, so to speak, a foundation. I don't know which way it's going to be best to see it. That is with one. And as you can see, some of it is still trying to peek through. Happens every morning. I'm used to it. All I do is this. Okay. Rachel, I can't get my powder to come out. And the brush feels like horse hairs. Okay. This is a brand new powder. I know I'm not doing it, Jada, if I'm coming off, getting way off topic, y'all. I'm so sorry if I'm stepping on toes for later on. Um, what I do, if, now you have to beat the devil out of it. I mean, you've got to beat it till you think you're going to break it just to get it started. But if you unscrew it, you can take a safety pin and poke more holes in this bottom and it actually works better now what i do y'all it's gonna sound awful because i'm as as my grandmother said beat the devil out of it i've got a lot of phrases i'm sorry you beat it and you see it comes out in the bottom okay y'all i have not poked anything yet i didn't poke holes in this one but I utilize that powder and I take it and what I do is I use a different brush because I don't like those brushes either. Um, Joni came to a training in um, Louisiana about a year ago and I, I told her, I was like, it, I'm, picking, I'm picking hairs off of my face for... A while and she was like what so they're 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 thinking about changing it but you know be patient it's gonna happen now what I do as you saw I took this I dump it out because that's what has come out I have my handy dandy crown brush and I'm just gonna set it with my powder Melissa why am I your hero because I talk funny everybody tells me I talk funny My child's making fun of me now. Okay. 
So I just take it, I'm literally taking my powder brush, sticking it in here a little bit, and moving it around. Okay, what that did was I just set that layer. That's all I did. Now, once that layer is set, I have a country accent. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just kidding. What I do, I close it back up because I don't want to spill anything, have anything going everywhere. I take, I've still got product left. See it? It's still on my hand. Now I'm going in for my second layer. And I just take it. And y'all, I'm talking to y'all. That's why it's taking me forever this morning. I can literally get ready in 15 minutes. If I'm not talking to y'all and explaining and doing all that stuff. So it looks like it's taking me forever. It really does not take me forever on a natural morning. Coming down on my neck, going on both sides, even though my left side is covered, I still need the coverage. Most prefer to use their special makeup brush anyway. I know I do. Better brush means higher prices. Absolutely. I mean, it, and y'all, I'm so horrible. I even dump some powder out into my hand sometimes so that it can get on the brush a little bit better. Um, and I just literally just pat it in. Uh, where do I get my brushes? He, um, I actually, these are crown brushes. I waited till they were on hot look, hot look, whichever way you want to say it. And whenever they're 80% off, and I ordered them that way. I have in my, in my cart on Amazon, I have some Sigma brushes in my cart waiting to be ordered for my eyes. But those, you know, three brushes is almost $80. So I'm kind of. I'm kind of waiting for that. My seven year old, my son is seven months old and he is mesmerized by this video. If y'all could only hear him talking. Oh, how sweet, Alyssa. I wish I could hold him and love on him. I love babies. My baby it will be 16 in August and it doesn't seem possible. Alyssa, my six month old is loving this. Hello, Alyssa. Good morning, sweet baby girl. Okay, y'all. I'm done. I am. Oh, don't forget the ears. You're exactly right, Sandra. I'm sorry. I did forget the ears. Um, ears are not as important unless you're getting pictures taken. If you're getting pictures taken, you better do your ears. I mean, it is. it will be obvious in the picture. Um, so I'm attracting the babies. Well, hey, send those babies to my class so that my students can actually understand what it means to pay attention. Although, I do have good students. I pick on them a lot, but I have some really good ones. Justine, yes, do your ears. Especially if it is big. Sign up on Sigma.com for deals on brushes. Heather, you are my guardian angel right now. Thank you so much. Um, oh, yeah, Michelle, I can't compete with the kitten. No way. Okay, Alyssa, let him hold and touch the screen. Come on, Mama, quit being mean. Just kidding. Don't let him. Don't let him cut me off, though. Um, yes, going back to the ears. If it's definitely a different a color differentiation with your ears, you will see. You'll see a floating face, and then you have different colored ears, and it just looks weird. That's another tip I learned from Renee Stewart. I forgot to mention. Jennifer, you saw me at seminar. Wish you, I wish you would have too, girl. I mean, there were only two thousand of us. I mean, it's we were kind of packed in there like sardines. They're trying to get in the hallways, especially going to the breakout classes. Um. Okay, let me see if I missed anything. Um. Oh, one, one quick, major, quick tip. If you're buying a concealer, whether it's ours or somebody else's, because ours just can't make it 
do what you want it to do. Y'all, if I can make it do what I want it to do, I promise you, you can do it. I promise you. All you need to do is just have, Mary Beth said faith. You're exactly right. Y'all, y'all can do this. I am not a professional makeup artist. Not. But I've been doing this since 1989. My mother took me to Merle Norman in 1989 to get my first makeover. Before that day, my favorite holiday was Halloween because I could make, I could wear full makeup and I felt normal. It was the only day of the year I felt like a normal kid. Um, I didn't want to cry, but you know, life happens. Um, I literally tried everything on the market. I wore Merle Norman from 1989 until 2014 when I started wearing Cinegens. And it's all because of my friend Kara Carroll. I, um, Mary Beth had a field trip to the Memphis Zoo. And we were spending the night. And I, none of her friends knew about my birthmark. And I did not want to be the last one to go to sleep and the first one to wake up. Or explain this freak show on my face, as my ex-husband called it. Which is another story for another time, which is wonderful. But, um, my dog has heard me crying, so now she's up here worried about me. But, um, back to my story. Um, Kara said, I've got this makeup. If it covers you, try it. It does not move. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't budge. And I'm thinking, yeah, right. I have, I've done it. I've done it all. I've tried it all. I did Derma Blend. I did Merle Norman. I did the absolute cake face makeup. And, um, I tried it. She came to my office. We sat in my office at the college. And we took part of my makeup off. And I said, oh, my God. It, now, granted, it took a little bit, but it covered. And so I put my makeup on Thursday morning when I left. And I took my makeup off Friday morning or Friday night when we came home. And all I did was put powder on in between at the Memphis Zoo. I didn't have to do any explaining. And I said, dear Lord, this is what I've been looking for my whole life. Um, if I can do it, y'all can do it. I am a walking testimony of trial and error. Um, I promise you, you can make our products work. I promise. Here, let me do the... Okay, here I am now. That's my coverage. This is true daylight, everything. Um, Jada, I'm the one that's honored to be your friend. Y'all took me in, and I appreciate it. Um, those that are just jumping on, please go back and watch the beginning. Um, if you don't know me, you would not believe what I cover. Um, thank you all so much for the wonderful things. It is hard. I have... Um, kids are mean. Kids are cruel. And that's the last thing I want to leave with. Not that, but kind of explaining it. Um, The, um, you didn't come to hear me cry. Well, Trish, you don't know me very well because I can, I can cry in a heartbeat, especially when it, it tugs at my heart and it, this is, this is me. Um, the first six years of school, I came home crying. Um, it wasn't that kids asked what it was. I could have handled that. It was making fun of me. Y'all laughed and said, um, WPS, Woo Pig Suey. For those that don't know, Arkansas's colors are red and white. I had one of my, um, friends, um, tell me I was the best Razorback fan they had because my face was already red and white. And she wasn't saying that to be nice. Um, kids have made fun of me 
my whole life. Um, that's why I knew my child, if she ever made fun of anybody in her life for a physical deformity, I would have knocked her out. Um, but like I said, if you ask, okay, and that was one thing that I wanted to talk about with Port Weinstein people. I love you too, Dawn. Um, there are two different types of people with Port Weinsteins. There are some people it does not bother. I was not that person. There are some people you can walk up to that have a Port Weinstein that say, Girl, I've got what you need. I've got something that can cover you and change your life. And there's others like me that I have to come to you because I don't want to tell you that I have a Port Weinstein. If you happen to see it on days that I have fever or days that um, it's cold outside, I'm embarrassed about that. It's still to this day not humiliates me because, I mean, it's me. I can't change me. Um, but it still embarrasses me. I guess I still just want to be normal. I just want to be like everybody else. Um, I, drew, I went, I flew to Duke University with my mother every six weeks when I was in the eighth and ninth grade. Every six weeks I had laser treatment surgery. And we only did it for two years because we didn't get that much results. But the dermatologist here in town in little bitty podunk Pine Bluff actually has a laser machine. She's the only one besides Children's Hospital. And, um, here I'll turn that on. That's a little bit better. Um, I've been going for two years now, every eight weeks, and having laser treatments done. Now, I'll be honest with you. My face throbs. I feel every heartbeat in my face for ten days. It is almost to the point of being unbearable. But I know the results that we're getting. I'm starting to feel normal. I'm starting to feel like everybody else. Um, I will do a video after I have my next treatment done. I love you too, Chandra. Um, I would scare people. My face is extremely swollen. My eye is swollen shut for about three or four days. And, um, oh, Lori, we can cover that pregnancy mask, baby. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We got it. Um, I use Mystic Moss. Okay, my laser treatments. I look like I have had fun with a permanent Sharpie marker. And, um, it's swollen and it looks awful. Y'all, it's black spots. It's not red spots. It's not purple spots. It's black. And I can get this to cover. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a coverage video on that, but I'm going to start the video with the face full of makeup and take my makeup off. Now, y'all, you're going to have to bear with me because it, it hurts to even touch my face, but I have my surgery done on Thursday. I'm back at school on Monday teaching. I do not let this stop me. Um, my mom and dad have always taught me what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, I think I have enough strength for me and about 10 other people right now. Um, God doesn't give you what you can't handle. I feel like I help people in the classroom and now I help people with makeup. Um, I truly did not mean to ball and squall all over this, but you know what? Our makeup's not moving, so that's a good thing. All right, y'all, I've got to jump off here. My time is almost up. Thank y'all all so much for your kind, kind words. I wish I could answer every single one of them, but I will say, Deanna, I wish we lived closer to, we'd be friends. <laughs> makeup or no makeup. Um, what my goal is, my dermatologist asked me, she's like, what is your ultimate goal? For those who know me, no, I do not even go to the mailbox without my full makeup on. It just doesn't happen. My goal, and when I get there, we're doing a Facebook Live video, so y'all just get ready. My goal is to go to Walmart without makeup. 
I know it sounds stupid. I know it sounds ridiculous. But I have never had one of those days that I didn't have to wear makeup. Never. The only time I don't have makeup on is if I'm sick and laying in the bed and I literally do not even get out of bed. And that happens once every blue moon. But, thank y'all. I have to put my eyes on and change clothes and jump in the car and head to church. But, thank y'all so much for joining me. I love y'all. All y'all have you say I'm an inspiration. Y'all are an inspiration to me. Y'all have helped me more than you will ever know. And I'm eternally grateful to each and every one of y'all. Love y'all. Jada, thank you for making me get out of my comfort zone and doing this. You've actually made it to where I think I might be able to do another one. I don't know. All right, girls, have a wonderful Sunday. Much, much love. Hugs to all of y'all, especially all those that have babies. Love on those babies. Trust me, you will turn around twice, and they will be 15 and about to start driving. Her own vehicle. Can't take it. But y'all have a wonderful day. And yes, ma'am, somebody asked me, um, will I post a picture of my finished makeup? And I absolutely will. And Jada, I can't believe I'm going to tell you this. You ready, sister? Anytime you need me. You pulled me out of my comfort zone. I'm ready to rock it. See y'all later. Oh, here's Mary Beth. She's actually ready Hi. now. <laughs> I want the dog, too. Oh, she wants the dog. But the dog doesn't want me. But I want okay, y'all. Love y'all. Bye.